We're back. Um, Tiny Kitchen, you're here. I'm here. Let's do something here. So, um, it's been a while, and I realized that we do this when we have an idea. And my wife, Erin, has a colleague named Rodney who suggested, why not do a Thanksgiving episode? I was like, boy, yes, let's do a, a Thanksgiving episode. It's gonna be a side dish. You learn how to do it in a minute. Let's do this. Okay, so I mentioned Thanksgiving. What we're gonna show you is a new way to make mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes, you say. I already have a special family heirloom recipe that we pass down from generation to generation. Why would I wanna make your mashed potatoes? Well, it's just an alternate way of making mashed potatoes. And I gotta say, when I first made this, I completely ditched the way I was making mashed potatoes for decades. So you might just wanna watch. And one more thing, at the end of making mashed potatoes, I'm gonna show you two other ways to use those mashed potatoes in two other dishes. So, first of all, the reason why this mashed potato recipe is so special is because it's so easy. It actually cuts out several different steps that you're probably used to, or your friends or family are used to. So we're gonna show you how to do this without the extra steps. Ingredients, the famous russet potato. You all know Mr. Russet. Uh, I use about four or five of these large russet potatoes. Uh, you can use two, one, whatever, however many people you're serving. Um, Mr. Moo Moo Cow has some butter. We're gonna use that. We're gonna use some heavy cream. We're gonna use some salt and we're gonna use some pepper. And really that's all you need to make these, which is incredible. I'm gonna add some extra ingredients. You know I love the shallot. We're also gonna do a little bit of garlic because garlic mashed potatoes, come on. And that's it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so these mashed potatoes are special. Why? Because we're cutting out several different kind of pain in the butt steps. This is different because usually most people have a big pot of boiling water sitting on their stove, taking up a bunch of space. They peel the potato, quarter it or cube it, throw the potatoes in there. It's steaming all over the place. People are running around, getting the turkey out, side dishes, and this thing is taking up a whole bunch of space. So what we're gonna do is cut that out completely. We're gonna put our potatoes in the oven. What this also does is when you bake a potato in the oven, it's gonna come out dry and fluffy. When you boil it, it's going to come out kind of pasty, uh, waterlogged. It, it kind of takes away from the taste and it's just not very pleasing. What we're gonna do is throw our potatoes in the oven. We rinsed these. It's not necessary to poke them. I've never ever experienced an exploding potato. So all you need to do is throw them in a 450 degree oven for about 50 minutes to one hour. I like doing one hour. And then we wait. And what do we do when we wait? We dance. It's been one hour, our potatoes are in there. We're gonna take them out. We've done nothing so far, which is awesome. Let's check it out. Okay. One potato, two potato, three potato, and four. Okay, we just got our potatoes out of the oven. Um, if you have some tongs, you might want to use them. If not, you can use like a kitchen towel or an oven mitt, whatever you have on hand. 
Um, what we're going to do now is cut each potato in half. So take a, a fairly sharp knife or whatever, whatever you have on hand. I'm going to use my tongs and I'm just going to cut each one in half like so. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to take a half potato in my oven. So now what we're going to do, once you slice the potato in half, we got our beautiful potato there. It's all dry in the middle. What we're going to do is, so you don't burn your hand, take an oven mitt, kitchen towel, whatever you have to protect your hand. Take a big spoon and then a big mixing bowl of some sort. And we're just going to gently scoop out each one of our potatoes just like that. And look how dry that is. That is going to be very fluffy when we add the rest of our ingredients. Okay, now that we cut our potatoes in half, scoop them out into a large mixing bowl, now what we're gonna do, still not putting anything in there, all we're gonna do is take a potato masher or a fork or even like a spatula or a spoon and we're just gonna get the chunks out as best we can, like that. Okay, we got our potatoes in our mixing bowl. While our potatoes were in the oven, I was simmering some heavy cream and about five or six tablespoons of butter, just so it melts down, simmers a little bit, so it's still hot. What we're gonna do is take this over to our mixing bowl, and we're gonna slowly fold it in. So I'm gonna put in about, I don't know, maybe three quarters of what we had there. And I'm gonna slowly just start folding that into our potatoes. My understanding is that <clears throat> folding it into the potatoes, it's going to be more fluffy, less pasty. So that's what we're going for. So that's looking pretty good. I like mine super like creamy and whipped. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of our cream and butter concoction. Don't add too much, you can always add more, but we can't go backwards if you add too much. So we're just gonna keep folding that in. As you can see, the dry potatoes, along with our butter and cream, they basically disintegrate and soak up that liquid, but they don't become pasty. They look light and fluffy, which is what we're going for. All right, now you can see all we have in there is potatoes, butter, heavy cream, and it looks absolutely delicious, but of course, with anything, we have to season. So I'm gonna throw in, I don't know, a couple pinches of kosher salt. Of course, pepper. And right now, we could mix that in and you could be absolutely done. But this is where you can put your personality into the potatoes. For me, I sauteed or actually softened a bit of diced shallots and garlic. So I'm gonna throw that in there. And uh, just a sprinkling of parsley. That's gonna give it a little color and a little flavor. And we have diced chives that I'm going to th throw in there, maybe a tablespoon or full. And then we're gonna mix that around. mixing and at this point if you like what you see if it tastes good you're done if you taste it and you want some more salt you want some more pepper you want some more parsley you want some more chives or if you want them even more creamy and whipped we can put some more butter and heavy cream in there as well oh my god all right so here it is folks 
I sprinkled a little bit of chives, a couple tablespoons of butter on the top, but basically that's it. And look how light and fluffy that looks. And I just tasted it, and my God, I might just take a spoon and just eat this whole thing myself. But actually, we're gonna show you two more things to do with this potato, if you wish. Okay, we're pretty much done. However, if you remember, we also have other things that we can use. We can do potatoes two other ways from this. So what we're gonna do is, remember the potato skins that we scooped the, the stuff out of? We have potato skins here. I'm just gonna drizzle these with a little olive oil. Okay. And then these skins we scooped out like a boat. So we're gonna take just maybe a spoonful or two mashed potatoes and scoop those in there. Okay, so we, we have our um, our sliced potato skins and we also have our empty potato skin boats which we filled with our mashed potatoes. Now you can leave them as is or put some cheese on. And then we're gonna throw these in the oven. 350, it could be 400, whatever you like. Just keep an eye on them and when they are done to your liking, pull them out. And you've got two extra dishes from those beautiful mashed potatoes. All right, so we took out our potato skins and they are salt and pepper, a brushing of butter and or oil. You hear that crunch? So nothing goes to waste. Delicious. potatoes threw them in the oven 400 degrees one hour cut them in half scooped out the insides in a mixing bowl had uh, simmering heavy cream butter poured it in as needed folded it in and added whatever you want you can add cheese parmesan cheese however much salt and pepper you want Maybe some curry powder, some curry mashed potatoes. Hello. But then we took even more steps. We took the skins, brushed them with butter and or olive oil, and we took our empty shells and put some mashed potatoes in there, topped it with cheddar cheese, threw that in the oven again until it looked browned, took it out. Now we have potatoes three ways. Potato skins. We have our Thanksgiving potatoes, mashed potatoes, and we have twice baked potatoes. So this is the star of the show, mashed potatoes, Thanksgiving. You can make them ahead, reheat them. It's so easy. Right, buddy? Thanksgiving. <clears throat> our potatoes have been in there. Potatoes? Did I say potatoes? Do you want to cut? See? Yeah. All right. Start. Start talking. Oh, okay. 